In order to perform my final project, I will need these materials. I need a Shy Guy Hot Wheel, a box, a slab of board, another slab of board, the same sort of board, but with wrapping around it, a ruler, a camera and a tripod, and a special wrapping on the ground. For my starting plan, I will set up the box and a slab of board with the wrapping on it to make a ramp for the Shy Guy Hot Wheel. I will set up my tripod and camera to record me placing the Shy Guy cart and letting go of it. That's how it's going to start. To record how fast it goes and when it stops, I'm going to keep track of the footage of when the acceleration starts and when all momentum ends. The video will help me keep the time record of that. With my ruler, I will record how far it went. I have three different setups and I will do each setup three times. The first setup is the board with the wrapping on it. The second setup is the board without the wrapping. And the third setup is the board without the wrapping, but I add an extra sort of stretchy material to the bottom of the board on the floor. I will do each of these setups three times. With this plan, I will be able to find out the meters per second it travels. My final answer will be in meters, but my first measurements aren't going to start off like that. For one, the desk pad, the slab of board I'm using, is 17 by 22 inches. The Shy Guy car I have is 35.1 grams. In the first trial of the first set, it starts accelerating at 23 seconds and ends at 27 seconds. In this time frame, it traveled 87 inches. In the second trial, it started at 23 seconds and ended at 27 seconds. And this time, it traveled 72 inches. In the final trial of the first set, it started at 19 seconds and ended at 22 seconds and traveled 48 inches. In the first trial of the first set, I started putting blue pieces of scotch tape on the ground to indicate when it passed 12 inches because I was measuring with a ruler that was 12 inches long. And I've kept these blue squares on the ground just as reference for future trials. In the first trial of the second set, it started at 21 seconds and ended at 26 seconds. And in this time, it traveled 108 inches. In the second trial, it started at 24 seconds and ended at 27 seconds. And this time, 61 inches. In the final trial of the second set, it started at 13 seconds and ended at 16 seconds. And in this time, it traveled 52 inches. In the first trial of the final set, it started at 17 seconds and ended at 21 seconds and traveled the distance of 61 inches. In the second trial of the final set, it started at 17 seconds and ended at 22 seconds and traveled a distance of 72 inches. In the final set of the final trial, it started at 13 seconds and ended at 18 seconds, traveling a distance of 91 inches. To reach the final answer, conversions have to be made. Some review is in order. In the first set, Trial 1 was 2.2098 meters per 4 seconds. Trial 2 was 1.8288 meters per 4 seconds. Trial 3 of the first set is 1.2192 meters per 3 seconds. The second set is as follows. Trial 1 was 2.7432 meters per 5 seconds. Trial 2 was 1.5494 meters per 3 seconds. Trial 3 of the second set is 1.3208 meters per 3 seconds.
The third set is as follows. Trial 1 is 1.5494 meters per 4 seconds. Trial 2 is 1.8288 meters per 5 seconds. And trial 3 of the third set is 2.4892 meters per 5 seconds. This is the path to the final solution. I want the average of each set. And for the first set, this begins by adding up all the numbers, which will give you a number of 5.2578 meters per 11 seconds. But to get the average, you need to divide that by 3, which will give you the number 1.7526 meters by 3 two thirds of a second. But you also need to divide that number by 3 two thirds of a second to get the meters per second, which for the first set, is 0 0.47798182 meters per second. That is the first of my three final answers. For the second set, this is what I arrive at. 5.6134 meters per 11 seconds divided by three will give you 1.8711333 divided by three two thirds will give you the second final answer of 0 0.5103090909 meters per second. For the third set, 5.8674 meters per 14 seconds divided by 3 equals 1.9558 divided by 4 two thirds will equal the third and final answer of 0 0.4191 meters per second.